welcome, or welcome back, to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. What I do know is I've had to pin my fringe up because my hair was going in a million different directions. And I was looking a little bit like stick of the dump. Now, today's film is a little bit different. Um, one of my friends, Gemma, I'll stick her picture up there. That was us on a karaoke night. Um, she's followed my channel for quite a while. Uh, she was she was one of the people that kept nagging me to start a channel, basically, uh, because I kept putting all these makeup looks up on Insta and Facebook, and she'd be like, oh, I want to know how to do that. So, you know, she's, she's one of the ones that nagged me for ages to start a channel on YouTube, uh, which I finally got around to doing. So, she's one of my OG followers. Um, and she'd been saying for a long time she wanted to try some Jeffree Star lipsticks, and she'd been looking around on reseller sites and stuff and when the sales came up and she messaged me all excited because she would bought the three colours that she was looking for. There was a seller that was selling precisely the three colours she had been looking for. When she sent me the photo of them, without even looking at the lipsticks inside the boxes, I could tell from the boxes that she'd been sold fakes. Now, I messaged her back straight away and warned her because I didn't want her to put them on her lips because God only knows what's in them. Um, she messaged the seller. The seller was like, oh yeah, uh, I forgot to put in my listing that they're not real. Okay, I'll refund you. Now, She bought the lipsticks down for me when we were at the karaoke so that I could show you what they're like. And they all had this type of label on the end. Now, when Jeffrey first started his company, he did have just pink square labels on them because this is the original blue velvet that I bought back in. 2015 <clears throat> and that's what the majority of fakes copy but if you were to look these fakes are pretty close if I put it next to one of my originals you can see the colour is almost the same the box size is the same the print at the bottom here is brighter on Jeffreys. Um, obviously the back of Jeffreys has the barcode which this one doesn't but all the information on the sides and everything is exactly the same just you know obviously copied but because so many of Jeffreys when they were like this were getting copied and because originally he only had like four or five colours he came out with once he started doing more colours, he changed how he labels them. Uh, so they actually have... So that if you keep the... Please excuse my stomach from grumbling. It is nowhere near time to feed it yet. You can see it actually has the label on the top with the name and an indication of the colour of the lipstick. And that label continues over the back. This one I bought from a friend, which is why the label has actually been torn through, because most of us Jeffrey officiados open our boxes from the bottom so we don't actually damage these labels. So, just to show you, let's show you this one. So, the Scorpio fake against the Scorpio reel. Dominatrix fake and Dominatrix reel. 
and androgyny, fake and androgyny, real. Jeffrey's labels have also got bigger. They started off <clears throat> like this, then he moved to the same size but running over the edge and now they are much larger as you can see. So that's basically because these are all genuine Jeffreys. So that's how his labels have changed over the years. So, thankfully I warned her before she put them on her face. But because she's a curious chap, a little uh, curious chapess like myself, she decided she was going to put them on her arm just to see whether she did have a reaction to them. She put them on, left them for a couple of hours, didn't really notice any itching or anything, but when she took them off, they'd stained her arm. So, I am going to show you exactly the difference between these on the back of my hand. So, we'll start off with androgyny. Oh, my androgyny is, oh, it's been a while since I used it, I need to shake it up a little bit. So this is the fake androgyny, which as you can see is very red looking when you compare it to a genuine colour. But again, the components are. They're doing a really good job at faking the components now. But as you can see, the real Jeffrey's on the bottom. The, the writing's not quite right. So. Ugh. Yeah, this stinks. And these have just got a flat paddle applicator. So this is the fake androgyny. Yeah, that's definitely going nowhere near my mouth, I tell you now. This is the real one with his, looks like a chair applicator. And smells like a Jeffrey lipstick. So that's the difference between the two androgynies. Fake, real. Now let's go into the fake Scorpio. Fake is on the left as you look at it. The real is on the right. They got much closer in colour with this one, but as you can see, the real one is this grey based purple, whereas this looks more like blow pony to be honest. So, once again, oh god, these smell disgusting. This is the fake Scorpio. No, that's the real Scorpio box. Where's the fake Scorpio box? There we go. And this one. Again. This one has actually gone quite fluffy, this applicator. But to be honest, I have had the lipstick. Two years, has it? Just been out two years. I know I bought it as soon as it launched, put it that way. So that's the fake Scorpio and that's the real. And finally, Dominatrix. Now 
Oh lord, this is nothing like it. Right, Dominatrix is a beautiful chocolate brown. Their version of Dominatrix is purple. And also, just to show you the stickers on the bottom of the things as well. I think you can tell which one is the uh, genuine Jeffrey. Right, so here we go with the fake Dominatrix. Yeah, this stinks just like the others do. Got to be honest, it's quite a nice purple actually. Which is frustrating because God only knows what's in it. And the real Dominatrix again with the chair shape applicator. And again, I've had this quite a while. I always keep my um, liquid lipsticks in their boxes and then I keep them in a box out of daylight because um, UV light will make them thicken up and make them go off quicker. But there you go. So fake, real, fake, real, fake, real. So, it's just a warning for you, when you are going to buy from reseller sites, the Jeffrey Fakes have started to get very, very good. However, they do still seem to be favouring the old pink square or red square naming labels rather than what they're actually like now where it shows you the colour and the name okay now this is where I talk about the difference between fakes and dupes. A fake is something like this, where it's in the packaging to make you think you are buying a Jeffree Star lipstick. A dupe would be... Trying to see if I've got a palette nearby that I could show you. Yeah, I have actually. A dupe would be something like this palette from You Can Be. This is called the Belonging Palette. Belonging, You Can Be. When you open it up, you can see it's actually a dupe or a copy of the Urban Decay Born to Run. But, if you were to see this on a shelf, you can see you're not buying Urban Decay because nowhere on here does it say Urban Decay. So this is a dupe. This is the equivalent of a high street shop seeing Kim Kardashian go out in a new frock and producing a cut price version of it so people who don't have Kim Kardashian's money can still wear a similar dress. I don't have any issue with dupes. I know a lot of people do because they're like, oh, you're stealing all the brand's hard work. It happens in every industry. Every industry you will find this. Because not everybody has got 60 quid to spend on a palette. 100 quid to spend on a palette. 200 quid, I'm, I'm talking to you now, Natasha Denona, to spend on a palette. Jeffrey Lipsticks, 18 quid. A lot of people don't have that money to spend on it. But you can pick up a Wet n Wild for 5 quid, 6 quid. 
yet, it's not going to be the same formula as Jeffrey, but you can get the same look. So for example, the lipstick I've got on today is YSOTP. This is, you're still on the property, from the holiday collection in 2018. <clears throat> this is a Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in shade Sea Seduction. This was part of their mermaid collection they did. years ago. So that's the Jeffrey, that's the Wet n Wild. So you could effectively say that the Wet n Wild, well technically this one came out before this colour did, but you know what I mean, the Wet n Wild is a dupe for the Jeffrey. So you could buy the Wet n Wild and get the same look as you would with the Jeffrey, but for considerably cheaper. So I don't have any problem <clears throat> with dupes. I do, however, have a massive issue when it comes to fakes like this that are claiming to be something they are not. I've been caught out because it turns out the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette that I bought from a reseller, uh, turns out there's a good likelihood that's actually a fake. So I'm really annoyed because I've been putting that stuff on my face thinking it was a genuine Anastasia. So even I've been caught out. It's real. Some of these fakes are getting so damn good. It is getting very, very difficult to know whether what you're buying is the genuine article. Pretty much until it arrives. And even when it arrives, you can still get caught out as I was. You know, <sighs> fakes, real. If you are buying from a reseller site, ask them if they've got proof of purchase. If they've only got one lot of photos up, ask them for more photos. Ask them to see the labels on the top. Ask them to see the labels on the bottom of the bottles. Ask to see a photo of the applicator. <coughs> All of these things will help you determine whether or not what you're buying is a genuine article or if it's a fake. With a fake, the most important thing is you don't know what's in here. A lot of fakes that were pulled um, in London recently, there was a, a massive warehouse raid where they'd found a load of palettes and lipsticks and foundations and all sorts. Some of the products contained <clears throat> lead, other harmful ingredients for your skin, urine, faeces. Do you want to put somebody else's poop on your face? Do you want to put rat pee on your face? Do you want to put rat pee on your lips? Because if you buy a fake, you might be. And fakes, nine times out of ten, somewhere through the chain, you'll find this will be funding some kind of illicit either drug selling or people smuggling or paedophile sex rings. <clears throat> But nine times out of ten, a fake has been produced to generate money for an illegal operation of some form. Whereas a dupe, <coughs> that's just a company trying to make sure you can recreate the looks that you're seeing without having to spend a fortune. So that because let's be honest, once the makeup's on your eyes, 
Who's going to... You could tell people. Yes, it's the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Unless you've got the palette with you, they're not going to know. And unless it's a really, really, really poor copy um, <clears throat> and hasn't got the pigmentation that Urban Decay's got. But you can be uh, Fumardi and Beauty Glazed are three um, I think they're Korean based brands which so far Touching Wood I've not had any issues with anything they've produced um, and they've always had really really good pigmentation as well <clears throat> so this is this is very much a buyer beware because you know you, you don't know what you're buying if you're buying a fake and if in doubt please don't buy it don't risk your health don't risk your skin don't risk anything it's not it's really not worth it these have all dried down now so <clears throat> let's get some micellar water a cotton pad Now, obviously, Gemma left hers on for an hour or so to see whether she got a reaction to hers. And this has literally just been on the amount of time it takes to dry. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get me all base remover. This is my uh, super drug vitamin E dual phase cleansing oil. <clears throat> I just wanted to see if micellar water would remove the the fakes because obviously with a liquid lipstick you do really need an oil based cleanser to break them down but rather worryingly the fakes even with this oil based cleanser are proving very difficult for me to shift off of my skin I mean I am really going for it and yet you can still see all three Come back off so I don't get that glare. You can still see all three of those fake lipsticks are still, and I, I am properly really going for it here <clears throat> to the point I'm actually hurting my hand because my fibro is playing up, so my skin is very sensitive. So this probably wasn't the most sensible day to do this, but I eventually have managed to get it all off. <clears throat> However, just please, please, please be very careful when you're buying stuff from reseller sites because although the majority of people are genuine people that just want to sell on old makeup that they don't use anymore or where they've bought the wrong shade of foundation because over here in the UK we don't get to take it back. You know, if you buy the wrong shade of foundation, once you've opened the foundation, whoop, tough luck, it's all yours now. You know, I bought Cool Ivory in this one, for example, and it's a little bit too dark. Um, I have now ordered porcelain as well, but I just have to mix lightness in with this because I don't get to take it back just because I bought the wrong colour. That's not how it works in the UK. Um, so a lot of cases you'll find someone's bought a lipstick, tried it once, doesn't really like the colour of it on them, so they're selling it. And you can get some really, really smashing deals. I mean, I managed to pick up this Rude Cosmetics Tokyo palette that had barely been touched at a really good price because she'd bought it, didn't really like the colours on her once she'd, once she'd got it, so sold it on really quite cheaply. So... You know, you can get some very good deals on reseller sites, but you do have to be very, very careful because there are fakes out there. 
and Gemma was lucky. The woman that sold her these was like, oh yeah, I forgot to put them a fake, sorry, and refunded her. A lot of people that are selling fakes will disappear off of the reseller site, so you can't get hold of them. Right. That's enough from me, I think, on this particular one. Just, uh, you know, buy a boy. Just know what you're buying. And if in any doubt, swatch it on your arm or the back of your hand, anywhere but your face, before you try it out. Okay? Right. I hope this was helpful and informative for you. And uh, I hope that Gemma's bad experience will um, at least serve as a warning for you that not everyone on a, on a reseller site is going to be honest and not everything you buy is going to be genuine. That's my husband. It's always the way, isn't it? I get no phone calls when I'm editing. But as soon as I'm filming, phone call after phone call after phone call. It's amazing. I think if I want someone to ring me, I'm just going to have to start filming and then it works. So, right, okay, before I was getting interrupted by the husband, I was finishing this video off. Um, I hope you found this helpful and informative. If you did, it'd be great if you could hit the like button for me. Do the usual, you know, comment, subscribe, share. Um, make sure you've hit the bell. Make sure you've chosen all notifications. Um, even if you've been subscribed for quite a while, check you're still subscribed because YouTube does keep deleting people back off even though they don't want to be deleted back off don't ask me i've got no idea what youtube are up to to be quite honest right once you finish watching mine why don't you see if you can go and find this eye look or have a look at some of my other films and uh you know sit back and indulge and if you've watched all of mine then my girlies in the Beauty YouTuber Growth Group, who are, as always, listed in my description box below, will have a plethora of films for you to watch. So don't forget to pop over and check out their latest offerings. Right, before my phone rings again, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.